guys, Yanis Papadopoulos here. Welcome to FAQ episode number three. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and like my Facebook page. Let's begin. Hi Yanis, I've been meaning to ask you on your guitar tone in your metal shredding improvisation video. Most lead guitar tone that I hear on YouTube tends to sound trebly, but your tone sounds smooth yet clear on even the lower notes. What tone settings do you use and what amp and effects are you running? So the tone in the middle shredding improvisation video comes from an XFX2 XL Plus. Generally speaking, when I have um, a tone, a lead tone, I'm using the amp and overdrive uh, in front of the amp and uh, I put some uh, delay and reverb. So the first thing is to dial the amp. Each amp has its own character and characteristics uh, tone-wise. So some of them are built with more treble, some of them are built with more mids, some of them are built with more bass. So what I do is I start with everything uh, in 12 o'clock position and then I use my ears. So what I do is I start with the bass for example and then I go um, from 0 to 12 and uh, I see where it suits my needs. So let's say that's on four or five, depending the amp. And then I would do the same thing. I leave the bass there and then I go to the mids. Uh, I have the treble at 12 o'clock and then I go with the mids and I go from zero to 12 and then I dial it in depending uh, my needs. And the same thing then uh, for the treble. When I'm done with uh, the EQ, I take uh, the gain knob and I do the same thing and usually um, I have the gain at around 7, 6 or 7 depending the amp and then with that set I put the overdrive and I go all the way up for uh, the volume and then uh, for the gain I just have it a little bit, I don't know, at around 9 o'clock or something like that so I need the level of the overdrive and not the gain so much to enhance the sound. Sometimes depending on the needs I might put some compression but nothing too heavy. So for the effects as I already said I'm using a delay and a reverb which are running in stereo in the effects loop of the amp and uh, for the delays I'm going for uh, either the digital or the tape delay depending on the needs um, and I usually set it around 400 one side and uh, 600 uh, milliseconds the other side. So for the reverb I experiment a bit more to see how it sits inside the mix um, but usually I'm, I'm going for the hole or for the spring sometimes. Are you from Athens and what's your favorite band? Yes, I'm from Athens, Greece. I'm born and raised here. I'm a proud Greek guy. Now regarding bands, I can't say I have a favorite one uh, because I like many, but most of the year I listen to Opeth, which I really like, but I also like, for example, Dark Tranquility, I like In Flames, um, I like Nevermore, Symphony X, Dream Theater, you name it. I'm mainly into the metal side of uh, things. I also enjoy listening to Muse or 30 Seconds to Mars or Three Days Grace or Daughtry or whatever. I mean, I really like music as long as it's true and it fits my soul and uh, my mind. Um, I'm open to listening to everything. How to build phrasing on any scale for getting sound perfectly? So first things first, you need to learn the boxes of that scale very 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 well for each scale that you want to master. After you're through with that you need to check what is happening with its harmonic formula and uh, which are the notes that give its specific sound. So if we take Dorian as an example, the characteristic note of the Dorian is the major sixth. So you have to see in your boxes where is the major sixth and you can start accenting that note every time you want to accent the specific feel of Dorian. Uh, that's thing number one. Then the second level would be that you should check all the arpeggios that come from that scale and then check which are the ones that have the major sixth in the Dorian case uh, inside them and then use them when you are playing, uh, when you're improvising uh, with the Dorian mode and you want to accent 
the durian filling. The last step, which takes even more time than the first two, would be play, experiment, use your ears. So you have to improvise many times to see in action what you've learned in theory and to make the boxes of the scale or the arpeggios sound like music and not just exercises. So use your ears, spend time with the instrument, bond with the instrument and um, yeah, it's gonna come together. It's, it's up to you, my friend. How do you play with feel and not your fingers? My answer would be close your eyes and leave yourself to the magic of the moment and the music and this is how you do it. But obviously there are few steps until you reach that level. First thing is first, if you want to enjoy something, you have to be free of any problems. So if you are not secure about your playing, if you don't feel uh, okay with what you play or if you're struggling to play, you will not be <laughs> enjoying anything. If you're struggling to play the lines throughout the show, you will not enjoy the show. So that means that you have to be okay with your technique. You have to be free from anything that might be a problem when you're performing and when you're playing. So sit down, solve any problems that you might have with technique so that you are free to express yourself. And, uh, the next step would be be free from anything that has to do with skill and uh, arpeggios and visualization on the fretboard. So devote the time, be better, struggle to be better every day. Uh, better than the previous day and that leads up to a player that uh, knows how to express himself, knows how to play and it's not bothered by details because this is a detail comparing to what you have here or what you have here. So um, this is how you do it and then you can uh, go fearless and play in front of people and you know that you're going to give yourself every day and every night uh, and you're going to have fun on stage. So that was today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for your questions. As always, use the comment section below to ask your questions for the next episode. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, like my Facebook page and check out my website www.yanispapadopoulos.gr Thank you for stopping by guys. See you soon. Rock on!